My name is Matthew Maddox. I'm an attorney here in New Canaan, Connecticut, and we're going to be speaking next Wednesday here at New Canaan Public Library at 7 o'clock, March 29th, about campus relationships and Connecticut's affirmative consent. And I want you to keep in mind five things in advance of that presentation uh, when we're talking about affirmative consent in Connecticut. Number one, yes means yes. So you have to have a yes, it has to be out loud, out loud it must be uh, understandable. No means no, no longer applies. Number two, intoxication from now on is always going to prevent a meaningful defense. It's always going to make it really impossible under yes means yes for someone who's accused to say that there was a yes. Number three, Title IX is always involved on a university or a college campus in Connecticut. Title IX is connected to federal funding. There's money involved, and someone with a complaint under Title IX is going to have that complaint thoroughly investigated. Number four, investigation methods, investigation access is going to vary, vary is going to vary widely between college and, colleges and campuses throughout the state and in fact throughout the country. Number five, the Campus Review Board process is also going to uh, vary widely. Campus Review Boards are not like courts. They're not like administrative hearings. These are populated by students, by professors, by administrators, and access to evidence and the normal safeguards that we see both for victims and for the accused are not always going to be present under these Campus Review Board policies. Keep all these things in mind. We look forward to seeing you next Wednesday, March 29th, at 7 o'clock at the Canada Public Library. Thank you.